Hi there. We're now at the third step of this whole process. So our ultimate goal here is to take a Chromebook and in particular, I'm going to be working on the 3189 Chromebook, which is part of the Edwin project. And I want to display it on the computer that is displaying to the smart board. So again, the idea is so they don't need hardware such as a dongle to attach to my Chromebook that's attached to the actual projector that's projecting to the smart board. I could actually have this 3189 anywhere in the room and it could, if I turn on the casting feature, which I will show you in just a moment, I'm good to go to share my screen with this class by sharing it to the computer that's attached to the smart board. Okay, so we downloaded the extension, the Google Cast for Education, that's done. We did then created a receiver. So, so that way I know where am I going to, how am I going to receive the cast? And now what I'm going to do is cast out. So this is the third process. So on my Chromebook 3189, which I am on right now, I am going to do that. So to do to cast out to my computer that's attached to the smart board, I'm going to click on these three dots and find the cast option. Please note, students at this time do not have access to the cast option, so they will not be able to do this. All right, clicking on cast. So now it's pulling up the receivers that are available to me. So please note, in our video that we created, the receiver that was created on the computer that's attached to the smart board is called Franzen. I actually created a second receiver on this Chromebook just so that I could demonstrate what was happening on the other computer. So it's kind of neat. So down here, I'm gonna click on this, and this is gonna show you right now the computer that's attached to the smart board. So that way you can see that when I'm sharing or doing anything on here, you can see firsthand what would be on the smart board. All right, I'm gonna minimize that for now. And then I'm going to cast to the Franzen uh, receiver, which is attached to the computer that's attached to the smart board. But before I do so, it says cast tab. I don't wanna cast the tab. If I cast the tab, this is not going to uh, show everything. So when I pull up the AdWin ecosystem, if I only choose tab, it's not going to actually dis display it. It's only going to display the Chrome browser that I'm currently in. So I need to change this setting. And if you forget to do this, not a big deal. You stop casting and then you do exactly what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna click on the drop down menu and choose cast desktop. That's what we want and then the receiver that we want to receive to. So we, again, we wanna to cast to our computer that's attached to the smart board. So Franzen, click. It's saying, yes, do you want your entire screen? Perfect. If you turn on the share audio, so you keep the default, that means any audio, so such as videos that you are displaying on your Chromebook will be picked up on the other computer. So this is ideal if you're showing videos in your ecosystem, then that way you know that the kids are still gonna be able to hear it because the sound's not coming through your Chromebook, it's actually gonna go through the computer that's attached to the smart board. In this case, just due to my recording, I am gonna turn this off. Then I'm gonna click share, And in a moment, it's gonna say, hey, we're sharing. And I can show you that on my other computer, on my other screen in just a moment. But before I do so, please keep in mind, it is kind of a weird situation where if I'm about to pull up up here, the screen from the other computer, it's kind of like it's gonna be this weird effect where it's like screen upon screen upon screen. But even just for the first second, you will see what the other computer has and what it should be is our dock because if you recall from before, it was just on the computer before, it was just the Google browser, and now we have here the Google search engine, now we have our doc, so let's check that out. Yep, looks good. Okay, so there's that weird mirroring I was mentioning. Okay, so let's pull up Edwin. So now, this will be on the smart board. So let me show you. Again, we are gonna have a weird replica very quickly of this screen, because we're sharing our screen like multiple times. But you will see that no matter what, in the end, it will be normal, I promise, up on your smart board, it will be the Edwin ecosystem. So I'm gonna click and just, there you go. So that will be on your smart board and you can now navigate through the ecosystem. Again, as I mentioned, you keep that, that audio piece checked off and you'll even have all the audio going through the computer that's attached to your smart board. So hopefully this helps you get what you want off the Chromebook up onto the smart board so that yourself and the students can follow along. And if you have any troubles, please let us know.